Hey, it's good to see you. I know usually on Sundays I post full-length horoscopes, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do 12 cards for 12 signs in honor of the summer solstice and the full moon in Capricorn. Are you ready? If you're in Aries or an Aries rising, your card is the devil, indicating it's very important to pay attention to the true cost of the commitments and contracts you make. Often this indicates tolerating a certain level of discomfort because we think we're going to get something out of it in the end. But it's really important to pay attention to the energy below the surface. Make sure you're not resentful and make sure you're not depleting or exhausting yourself. So ask yourself, is it really worth the price? If you're a Taurus or a Taurus rising, your card is the Five of Cups, showing that you might be dealing with a great deal of disappointment right now. Remember that grief comes in waves and this too shall pass. Even though things feel really, really crappy sometimes, it's important to try as much as we can to focus on gratitude because that will often lift us up out of our challenging emotional situations. Be gentle with yourself. If you're a Gemini or a Gemini rising, your card is the Queen of Pentacles, and she's all about the long-term commitment and patience that it takes to really grow a lush garden of abundance in our lives. But even though she usually plans things carefully, this card invites us to jump on any opportunity that makes us feel really, really excited to be alive. So keep your eyes open. If you're a Cancer or a Cancer rising, your card is the Justice card associated with Libra and the seventh house of one-on-one -on -one relationships. The focus on balance right now is inviting you to find the happy medium instead of getting stuck in extremes like black and white thinking. Remember to go deep within instead of looking, instead of analyzing, try and feel your way through and do what feels right for you. If you're a Leo or a Leo rising, your card is the Two of Cups, invoking memories of cherished times with loved ones, sharing our heart and feeling like we just don't want the moment to end. So take all the time you need to cherish that beautiful sunset or a moment with someone you love. These moments are magical and fleeting. If you're a Virgo or a Virgo rising, your card is the Six of Swords, which is all about coming out of a dark mental place or a difficult situation that's exhausted your mental health. But see how this person's looking backwards? Try not to focus too much on the past. You know, it's kind of like driving. Eyes on the road, don't keep looking in the rear view mirror. You can't go back, you can only go forwards. Keep up your healthy momentum and you'll get better and better. If you're a Libra or a Libra rising, your card is the Three of Cups, which is all about the true friends that stick with us through good times and bad. It's all about quality, not quantity. So make sure you're surrounding yourself with people who celebrate your good moments and lift you up when things are hard. If you're a Scorpio or a Scorpio rising, your card is the Two of Wands, which is all about imagining the possibilities and remembering that the world is your oyster, so to say. You know, if you're stuck thinking it has to be one thing or another, maybe think about plan C, D, or E, but don't just get stuck in this reality. Imagine whatever you can possibly dream. If you're a Sagittarius or a Sagittarius rising, your card is the King of Wands, which is a reminder to think about what it is that you want out of life and go for it, regardless of whether or not you have permission or validation from anybody else. You might be focusing too much on other people, and it's definitely an invitation to be a healthy level of selfish. If you're a Capricorn or a Capricorn rising, your card is the Judgment card, which is about making a life-changing decision that elevates your experience. It's all about dancing to the beat of your own drum and choosing a direction that's going to help you feel better and do better, including maybe challenging yourself. If you're an Aquarius or an Aquarius rising, the Ten of Cups is all about emotional endings. Sometimes it's a happy ending, like the gold at the end of the rainbow, and sometimes it's a sense that something really important is passing on. Regardless, cherish the little moments. It's not about things, it's about feelings. And if you're a Pisces or a Pisces rising, your card is the Hierophant, which is all about the teacher-student relationship and how the teacher becomes the student and the student becomes the teacher. Go deep within and find your own answers. Nobody else is gonna be able to tell you what to do right now. You have to decide that for yourself. Sending you guys all of my love. I'm Erin, I'm Queen Bee Tarot. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you next time.